Hi, my name's Hannah Matthews and I am the co-assistant director of Interactive Digital Design, otherwise known as IDD. And it's my pleasure to talk you through what we do and what we're looking for in our Interactive Digital Design students. I've worked here for over 15 years. I originally um, started off in the Broadcast and Digital Communications Department and it was there where we really noticed a interest and a desire for students to be working much more virtual and digitally with their creative work and it was there that IDD was born and we've become an integral part of the Brit School today. So IDD is quite a new and different subject that you might not have heard of or studied at your current school. But if your interests and skills lie somewhere between media, art, digital art or even ICT, then IDD might be the place for you. In IDD, we study a plethora of digital art, including digital games design, VFX, animation, illustration, photo manipulation, using professional industry software, such as the Adobe Creative Suite. The creative industries currently employs around 2 million individuals, and its growth is around twice the rate of the economy as a whole. The UK leads the way in the games development, special effects, web and design industries. Many of the digital high flyers are under 30. It's an industry that recognises youth, innovation and talent. We aim to harness our students' already existing skills and talents in order to produce the future of entrepreneurs and employed individuals in the creative industries for the future. We have seen students successfully move into higher education and into the workplace in the following areas. 3D animation, concept art, web design, games design, graphic design, motion graphics and special effects, fashion photography. Our alumni includes Michael Hewins, who's a label assistant at Sony Music, Abby Edwards, digital designer at 55 and 5, and Olivia Madem, who's a C++ engineer at Amadeus. The IDD course is split into two key components, the first being the NCFE qualification, which is equivalent to one GCSE. They study key components of graphic design, how to apply them, and they study um, how to look for inspiration, how to use that inspiration, as well as undertaking a number of professional vocational briefs. The second component of the IDD course has been written originally by Brit School IDD staff, and this part of the course radiates around the Adobe Creative Suite. We work with Photoshop, InDesign, After Effects and Illustrator in order to produce professional creative work. Alongside the course, we like to go and visit exhibitions and galleries. We have been to the v &A to see the Games Design Exhibition and we have been to the Design Museum to see political protests in action. We've also undertaken two workshops, one with Studio Moros and one with Neon Naked where students got hands-on with their practical design work. Most recently, we've had an online lecture and Q&A session with our Key Stage 4 students with Stephen Lloyd, who is Senior Lecturer at the Ravensbourne University uh, in Brand and Advertising Design. Students have access to their own Mac alongside the full Adobe Creative Suite, both in and outside of school. They also have DSLR cameras, green screen, Wacom tablets and iPads in order to digitally illustrate. You may have a range of practical digital design work that you have produced, or perhaps you haven't had the opportunity to do so yet. You may have a collection of digital art. You may have looked around for inspiration of graphic design. Either way, can you talk about it? Can you engage with it? And can you tell us about what has excited you about all of those experiences? We are looking for young people who have ideas, who are strong at working both independently and collaboratively. For more information about our course, please visit the website as well as at Brit School IDD on Instagram for more examples of our students' work. If you believe you have the skills, interests and motivation to succeed within IDD, please visit the website and download our application form. Please remember to submit by the 11th of January as that's our deadline. I wish you the very best of luck in your application.